My name is Chet Lazzarino, and this is Cooking with Chet, and also Cooking with John. And John's a friend of mine and a family friend uh, from Colorado, and uh, we've decided to push away from the pasta for a little while and do a really nice rice dish. Um, John, John will tell you what it's called afterwards. He'll give you the ingredients. And before I turn this over to John, this particular dish is dedicated to... Elizabeth. Elizabeth <laughs> in Pennsylvania. So let's get started, John. You take over. All right. Well, hello, everybody. Um, I want to thank Chet for welcoming me to his domain here. Today, we're going to make what we call nasi goreng. And that's an Indonesian term for Indonesian fried rice. And it's a very simple recipe because um, as you can see, uh, the ingredients here are on the table. We have steamed rice that has been cooled down. We have minced garlic or garlic that's been minced by Chet here and uh, uh, green onions, uh, ground beef, some bouillon cubes. And this here is a chili paste called sambal ule, which seems to work the best as you uh, prepare this dish and a head of cabbage. And so what we're going to do is initially, to get this started, we're going to saute the garlic and the green onions. After that, we'll start adding uh, bouillon cubes, we'll start adding the uh, sambal ulek or chili paste uh, and dousing that with soy sauce. And then uh, after that, we'll add the uh, cabbage, which will cook down to until it's uh, very uh, soft and then in the very end we add the rice and mix it and what we're going to do is we're going to mix it what they call layer by layer basically a little bit uh, of uh, you know each time to ensure maximum absorption okay so, so let's go right, ahead that sounds great so let's get started you can start okay, the first off. thing we're going to do is saute the garlic and um, the onions until they get nice and soft and then after that we're going to add the various ingredients that we talked about namely um, the first thing we'll do is, is put in the beef to get it you know, get it brown and then after that the rest of the ingredients like the chili paste soy sauce and the cabbage and then again in the end we'll put in the rice and then it's done so the total time that this takes to prepare is probably about 20-25 minutes. So it's a very simple uh, recipe and very simple and easy to, um, to prepare. Now this recipe is very forgiving. So if you put in too, many, too much uh, oil, that's okay. I used eight tablespoons of oil, uh, vegetable oil. And so, um, and the same thing goes with the uh, chili paste, which I'll explain later on in the video as we go through this. Okay, uh, this looks about, it is ready here. It's been sauteed here for about five minutes. So Chet, if you could hand me the ground beef. All right, here we go. Appreciate it. Yeah, there you. you go. And all you do is throw the ground beef in here and chop it up and brown it. And uh, once it's thoroughly browned, then you start adding um, the various spices and the cabbage, and then uh, finally the rice, and we're all ready to go. Okay, I think uh, this is uh, just about ready to start adding the spices. As you can see, it's been browned, and the onions and garlic have been distributed throughout the meat. So now we're ready for beginning with the spices. So let's have the bouillon cubes, Chef, please. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Two bouillons. Okay, so now we're ready for the chili paste. And initially, what you want to do is spice it at a medium level as far as heat. And then you can always add later uh, by uh, adding uh, to uh, your, your dish. So I, what I begin with is uh, four tablespoons, good heaping tablespoons of uh, chili paste. 
which brings it to about a medium heat. And then um, mix that. And then the next thing we do is we use a soya sauce to begin with, which we'll have to add more as we put the cabbage in, as it boils down or cooks down. Thank you, Chet. And initially, you know, a good, good portion of soy sauce, not too much. And you can always, again, whatever your uh, taste suits you, you can uh, pretty much adjust what you want to put in into the uh, mixture. So the next thing we want to do is start putting in the cabbage. And this is shredded cabbage. It's one head of cabbage. And what you do this, again, you do it in portion sizes because uh, you want it to cook down. And then you know, keep adding until you uh, have completed the entire bowl. And you just mix it. And um, you'll know when to add the next batch of cabbage. And as you can see, it mixes very nicely and it'll cook down. And then you can, and then based on your taste preferences, you can add um, more soy sauce. Okay, uh, we're now ready to put the rice in the mixture, and you can see how much the cabbage has boiled down, or or been cooked down. And so all we do is gradually add cold rice. Again, it's very important that the rice is cold, otherwise. If you put warm rice in there that just came out of the steamer, it'll, it'll look and taste pasty and starchy. So you want to do this a little bit at a time until the batch of rice that you put in has fully been absorbed into the mixture. And then as you go along, then you can do your taste test as far as the level of spiciness that you want to do. Okay, we're all done. Chet, thank you for your help. And as you can see, we have a heaping bowl of fried rice. And uh, this is a, quite a large uh, quantity because I'm used to, or I grew up in a large family. And so my mom made a big portion. The typical portion is four to six servings. And what happens is uh, we will post the ingredients for that portion size. So with that, salute. salute, salute. Okay, we're going to enjoy our meal in English. In, in English French, it's bon appetit. In Indonesian, it's salamat manak, or makan, makan. In Dutch, eat smakelijk. Salute. Salute. salute.